हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं डॉक्टर यमुना प्रसाद निरंकारी अपने वीडियो चैनल के माध्यम से आप सभी के बीच में कोर्सेस फॉर नेट प्रिपरेशन भेज रहा हूं मैं अपने वीडियो लिंक के माध्यम से नेट प्लेटफॉर्म स्टार्ट किया हूं इस लिंक में हम लोग केमिस्ट्री का चैप्टर सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इन केमिस्ट्री पे चर्चा कर रहे थे We will see classification of matter. Classification of matter. Matter are classified. into two groups matters are classified into two groups number 1 is heterogeneous substances and second one is homogeneous substances in heterogeneous substances chemical compositions in heterogeneous substances chemical composition two or more substances are taking part are taking part as for example mixture of water and iron for example mixture of water and iron mixture of water and ice मिक्सचर ऑफ वाटर एंड आइस इन हेट्रोजेनियस स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर इन हेट्रोजेनियस एक्सेप्ट स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर टू क्लियर कट boundaries are set in homogeneous in homo genius matter all the the components unites to form 
uniformity in all dimensions. Homogeneous substance Homo genius substances are divided into two groups. Number one is solution and second one is pure substance. Solution the solution is combination of two or more substances and forms. Uniformity in all dimensions. In other words, you can say that in other words, you can say that solution is a mixture of two or more substances in homogeneous forms. For example, combination of water and sugar. Second one is pure substance pure substance are those having composed by only one types of constituents having fixed melting and boiling boiling point Pure substance can be divided into pure substance is a divided into two groups. First is a element and second is compound. In elements All the constituents are single types of molecules. For example, sodium, potassium, iron, cold and 
mercury. In elements, all the constituents are single types of molecules or atoms, for example, sodium, potassium, gold, silver and mercury. In compound, there are two or more types of elements combining in definite ratio. Two or more types of elements combining in definite ratio. Friends, we will see physical and chemical changes. Physical and chemical changes. In physical change, in physical change, only steps of matter changes, no any. substance is formed. For example, melting of ice to form water or freezing of water to for ice or burning of candles is the are the example of physical changes. Melting of ice to form water or freezing of water to form ice or burning of candle are the example of physical change. In chemical change, in chemical change, new compounds are formed. new compounds are formed by union of constituents and the physical and chemical properties becomes differ from its constituents. The example of chemical change are
example of chemical changes or chemical reaction taking place in our surrounding or in labs for example corrosion of iron or burning of coal to form carbon dioxide or example of chemical change third type of uh, change is third type of change is nuclear change in nuclear change new atoms are elements are formed by fusion or fusion of old nucleus for example fusion of uranium atoms is the example of nuclear change so friends we will see importance of chemistry and its expansion our next heading is importance of chemistry and extension in modern life the importance of chemistry is a very important and uh, chemistry is serving in all fields of life the chemical substances are uh, needed in all types of industry either it is a uh, small or large we use chemical substances in various types of industri- industry as for example formation of paper formation of cloth formation of fertilizer formation of explosive and dyes and also in various types of synthetic fibers such as nylon acron wool so field of chemistry is a very field of chemistry is vast and it is useful in all aspects of life 
so we will see the important and aspects of chemistry in our life in agri culture chemistry provide us fertilizers party lizers insecticide insecti sites and pesti sites second is utilization is cloths chemistry provide us various types of cloths and synthetic fibers such as artificial silk or t hcl silk wool and synthetic fibers and synthetic fibers in building construction and building and a road construction cement steel and tar cement steel and tar in health and uh, life to provide us various types of medicines and various types of nutritious uh, substances to provide us good health and uh, our good defense mechanism as for example medicines medi sense vitamins and antibiotics and nt biotics chemistry is also utilized as in the form of fuels such as petrol petrol diesel kerosene oil kero sen oil cng compressed natural gas lpg liquid petroleum gas etc in industry chemistry also serves to us such as industry of cement industry of glass cloths pants 
radar plastic leather steel leather steel sugar and fertilizer sugar and in the field of party lies chemistry also provide us explosive material which are utilized in the wars and it is very dangerous field of chemistry such as explosive T M T tri nitro solvent and picric acid tear gas and mustard gas mustard gas in the field of energy production energy production are power production atomic energy atomic energy battery and dry cells battery and dry cells in the field of metallurgy in the extraction of metal in the extraction of metals refining of metal and in the form of alloys in the form of alloys in entertainment entertainment gramophone record gramophone record photo film photo film photography in a match and sedich uh, so friends chemistry is utilized in every field of life so friends we will take our next heading large of chemical combinations large up chemical combination large up chemical combi 
combinations. Chemical reactions are based on some principles. Chemical reactions are based on some principles and rules. These rules are called as large of chemical reactions and these are as follows. The large of chemical reactions are as follows. Number one is law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass. This law is proposed by proposed by Russian chemist M. B. Lomonosov. M. B. Lomonosov. In seventeen hundred fifty six, it states that in chemical reactions, the Total mass of reactants and total mass of products are same. In other words, we can say that we can say that the mass of reactants and products are changed. Second law is law of constant proportion. Law of 